Good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Youth Driven Change, High School Peer Leaders Speak on Their Experiences. Let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Yetsi Garcia Martinez, and my pronouns are she, her, and I am a first year youth board member with the California School-Based Health Alliance. If you're here today, it means you're either an adult ally, work with youth, or simply interested in peer-to-peer -peer work. And here at CSHA, we do all that and more. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the health and academic success of children and youth by advancing health services in schools. And, a part, and as a part of this work, CSHA is home to our youth board, which focuses on elevating youth voice and creating spaces like this webinar where youth can share the powerful work they are doing on their campuses. So this is the Use Your Heart Steps to Create a Peer Counseling Program by Pomona High School. Uh, just to let you guys know, this presentation um, covers basically why uh, why we are, you know, doing what we're doing. And it's just a quick overview about our program. So here in peer counseling, we have three different types of questions that we like to ask. So the first one is open-ended questions. With open-ended questions, we use those to kind of just get them to speak a little bit more. And those types of questions, you can't answer with a yes or no. We have closed-ended questions. And with those, those are able to be answered with a yes or a no. And our third type of question that we like to ask is uh, clarification questions. And those kind of help us understand the situation a little bit more, just so we know that like, we're following along and that we can find out more of like, the situation. Okay, freshman support. All right, so one of like the most important things, again, about being a pre-counselor is our freshman support. That's like one of the key things. We start off the beginning of the year with our freshman orientation, where we open up our, the school, we let them come in, we give them tours so that they can familiarize themselves with the campus, and we introduce them to all their teachers. After this, we follow along with them through the year with birthday cards, holiday cards, and we regularly come in, we pull them out, talk about their grades, just check on them. Validate, validate, validate. Validating is like one of the key things for a session to go properly, okay? Validating is important because as you're talking to your client, it's one of like the key things that you have to do is like kind of help them feel comfortable with what they're thinking or any ideas that they give you, okay? When someone gives you an idea, it's very hard to get anything out of them if they feel uncomfortable with what they're saying, all right? So making them feel comfortable with what they're saying is like really, really important in making sure that the rest of everything goes smooth. So another question that we got in the chat from Allison is, I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot more interest in signing up for peer counselors among girls than boys. Any tips on recruiting boys? Really show people like the programs and the things that we do and the opportunities that are given to us. Because um, I know that a lot of like the, the caring for people and like, you know, sitting down and talking to people, I know that that normally does usually appeal to more, to more women. But I feel like, you know, when you really do present the opportunities that we do, the things that we do, the people that we talk to, you know, the presentations that we give, that could pull more people in, both male and female. Good afternoon, everyone. We represent the Clovis Unified Peer Counseling Program. Today, we are talking about peer counseling's impact on student mental and behavioral health. Why is peer counseling effective? Peer counseling has many positive effects on students. It encourages peers to accept themselves and whatever the, the situation they're experiencing and therefore supporting their mental health and their well-being through the curriculum tactics. Here are some interesting facts about peer counseling. So currently, 60% of our students have felt that peer-to-peer -peer support was very helpful to them with any support they needed, which helps our program with identifying what more we need to do to help or support our students. Hi, my name is Bailey. What's your name? My name is Larissa. Nice to meet you. So I'm a peer counselor. You were referred to peer counseling. Do you know what peer counseling is? I don't. Okay, so peer counseling is just a group of students on campus who are here to provide support for you in whatever area of your life you need it. Do you know what confidentiality is? I don't. So confidentiality just means that everything we talk about is going to stay between just you and I, unless it involves our duties to inform, which is harm to self, harm to others, or others harming you. And in that case, if you were to share that information with me, I would have to inform my advisor so that we could get you the help that you need that I don't have the power to give you, okay? Okay, do you have any questions? I don't. Our wonderful Antioch High School peer advocates, where at Antioch, we are building stronger campus communities through youth to youth work and restorative practices. So why is peer-to-peer um, -peer work so effective? Um, we're a constant presence 24-7 on campus. Um, we're, it's available on um, both scheduling and on-call service. So what is PI? PI um, stands for Peer Intervention Education. This program is designed for peer-to-peer -peer support. The PI participant will explore why they use and alternatives to using 
We also help them set goals related to their use and to decide if they want to change. When you're working with someone your own age, you're more seen as equals. And in that way, they kind of open up more in a more natural way. And then they're more invested in the problem when they know they make the, their own decisions by themselves instead of just being told what to do and being punished. The process wouldn't come as natural if it wasn't for the peer program. How has this work impacted what you would like to do for the future, career or passion-wise? I do um, take interest in, in therapy and counseling and stuff like that. So I feel like being in the peers program has helped me learn what I would be learning just um, earlier on. Please get a final big round of applause for all of our presenters, to the adult allies that supported them along the way, and to all of you for being an incredible audience.